So I have a friend, he says, girl, you call that hotel the Hilton and they're going to let you do it. I said, that's a new hotel. They don't let me do anything of such nature. He says, yes, they are. I said, come on now. He said, try it. So I said, okay, Dr. Roberts, I'll do it. And so quickly, I called the hotel. I, but you know what I did? I called every other hotel. I didn't call the one he suggested. <laughs> I said, it's a new hotel. They're not going to let me do it. But every other one said, no, we can't let you bring your food in here. I said, okay, thank you. And I called the Hilton. And they said, sure, come in tomorrow. We can meet. What time would you like to come? I said, oh, maybe about 11 o'clock. Now, be honest, I had not a dollar in my pocket. I probably had $50 between my husband and I because I'm not working and he only has, it's just one income. I said, I don't know where the money's coming from to even go to a hotel, Lord, but I'm impressed to do this. And so the next morning, I said to him, I said, how much do you have? He said, 25. I said, I have 25. That's 50. I said, now, that's not enough money to go to a hotel. I said, but I'm going to go anyhow. I said, because we, we don't know what they're going to charge. Just go. I just feel impressed to go. Mm -hmm. And so just before I went to the hotel, though, I stopped off. I would go for morning runs every morning. I'd go for a run. And I stopped off at one of the little convenience stores owned by one of our Adventist brothers. And his worker was there. She was my friend. I went just to tell her about I was so excited I had to tell someone. I said, girl, guess what? I said, Lathira, we're having an extravaganza. She said, a what? I said, it's going to be a vegetarian cooking and tasting extravaganza. She said, really? How much is it going to cost? I said, I don't know. She said, well, i tell you what. I said, maybe about $20, $25. I said, I don't know. She said, okay. So I went over to pick up some oranges. I had a dollar. And I picked up some oranges. I thought I had to have a reason to go into the store. I can't just go to tell, tell I'm a program. So I picked up the oranges, paid her the money. She said, hold a second. She reached into her purse and pulled out $25. So now I got $75. I said, Lathir, you don't have to give me any money. She says, but I, I feel impressed to give you this money. Take it. This is my ticket. I said, but sweetie, I'm going to need your help anyhow, so you don't have to pay for the program. She says, take it. Praise God. So I took the money, ran home, and said to my husband, I said, guess what? I got $75. He said, well, why did you do that? I said, don't worry. The Lord just worked it out. So I go to the hotel very quickly. And when I get there, there's a beautiful young lady who had actually attended one of our schools, the academy. I didn't know her, but because we had gone to the same school I had gone to and taught at, we connected. Amen. I said, Lord, you got to put the right person in place. She took me to the room. Beautiful room. I said, Lord, how am I going to afford this room? She says, you know, you can do it seminar style. We'll set up a stage for you, and then we put your guests down, and they can, you can seat about 100 people. She said, how many people are coming? I said, I don't know. She said, well... <laughs> How are you planning a program and you don't know how many people are coming? I said, I don't. I said, I imagine my 25 students will be here. I said, I'm going to make it their graduation. She said, well, that's a good idea. I said, she said, maybe they'll bring people. And so I made it a graduation. And those 25 students sold 66 tickets. So I was sure we had at least 70 plus people coming. That first program, we had 150 people. The room was so packed. Wonderful. And we prepared food for probably 150 to 200 people. Wonderful. And the people were so amazed. But you know, the next program, very quickly, and I wanted to show the picture. We had a surprise visitor. Oh, yes. The Prime Minister of the Bahamas, that former great. Prime Minister, um, Mr. Christie, Honorable Prairie Christie came, and he said to me, are these people Seventh-day Adventists? I said, no. I, I said, maybe 99, 90%. He said, I don't believe you. He said, may I speak with your audience? 99% are not Adventists. Not Adventists, okay. yes. I said, sure, go ahead. And so there's a picture of our audience. And he, he says, are you guys Seventh-day Adventists? And they said, no. He says, well, guess what? <laughs> You're going to eat yourselves right into the church. <laughs> I said, oh. Why, how could he do this to me? <laughs> he, saw, he saw so much into what he was Amen. seeing there. Amen. But you know what was exciting? He said, if the food can taste as good as this, I too want to be a vegetarian. He simply enjoyed the meal. As a matter of fact, we have a shop with him eating with my Aunt Beverly, who passed away since. He's eating and he's enjoying and he's fellowshipping. And we're having a great time. But, you know, the Lord has just been leading, and I've just been following wherever he wants to Obviously. Take me. And, you know, I, I'm thinking of the scripture that says, do not despise the, the day of small beginnings, because mm -hmm. God started by getting your attention, yes. getting you healthy. And when you saw the benefits of the, the program, it became a lifestyle for you. Yes. And now God then takes you, starts you off in your home, 
<laughs> graduate you to these large meetings. You're now doing them not only in the Bahamas, in but in New York. New York. Mm -hmm. And you have written a cookbook, which, Marlene, the one thing that I think is difficult for some people when they do try to become vegetarians is if they run into the wrong vegetarian recipes, <laughs> you know, because not all recipes are created equal. How did you go about creating your recipes? You know, it's a lot of friends, a lot of help. My mom, you find Grammy's cornbread in there, Grammy's bread, my sister, my daughter, my husband, myself, my friends, Ida, and, and I just, it's a combination of help and a lot of bloopers. Okay. Trial and error. Now, are a these, lot of trial and error. Are these vegan? Or yes, ma'am. These are vegan yes, recipes, yes, which they are. means, and the name of the book is Vegetarian Delights by Marlene McKinney. And you can get this book. How do they get this book? <laughs> well, it's available at some of our ABCs in okay. the Bahamas and in New York. And, um, and also McKinney's Oven. They can go to McKinney'sOven.com. Okay, well, let's put, why don't we put your address and information up so they'll know how to get the book. If you would like to know how you can get a copy of Vegetarian Delights, or if you'd like to get in contact with Marlene, then you can write to McKinney's Oven, Post Office Box 379, Hyde Park, New York, 12538. That's McKinney's Oven, Post Office Box 379, Hyde Park, New York, 12538. You can call 516-429-9101. That's 516-429-9101. Or you can visit her website for recipes or watch health videos. The website is McKinney'sOven.com. That's McKinney'sOven.com. Call the right today and live better tomorrow. In just that short time while you were writing down that address, I've twisted her arm and, and Marlene's going to give me this Vegetarian Delights cookbook. <laughs> and, and really, I can't wait to try some of these recipes. Marlene... If you think back on the number of classes that you've had, whether it's in the Bahamas or in New York, can you think of one person that just really stands out in your mind that God totally changed their life through the health message like he did with you? <laughs> I think of um, one of my students. She called from the radio program. She says, my cholesterol level is so high. She says... I don't even know where to turn. My doctor says he has to put me on medication, and I don't want to do the medication. So I said, well, she says, can you help me? I said, well, you can come to the cooking class. I mean, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> I said, so come. So she came. At the end of the six weeks, we had an extravaganza at the local mall uh, expo, and she came to the expo, and she said, she came running to the table. My mom and I were standing there serving people food. She said, Marlene! You're not going to believe this. I said, what happened? She said, my cholesterol level dropped like a, like a hundred points. It just dropped. Praise she God. said, my cholesterol level was over 200 and now it's normal. Praise the Lord. I said, really? She said, girl. And she just hugged me up. She was, she was almost in tears because she, <laughs> you know, she was so excited. And I was excited for her too because I had given her just simple, just simple things to do. Praise nothing. God. But you know, it's God. I know it's God. Amen. Ultimately, everything that we he gave share. us, He gave us a way to eat on purpose because He's the one that created exactly. a body. How about your husband and your children? Was the transition different, difficult for them? Well, I think for my children, they were a little young, so it was not so difficult. And and they love they love to try everything, especially my son NJ. He loves to try everything. Good. You know, he says, "I'll try anything." You know, and your husband? Oh yeah, he tries it. Oh no, he tries anything. <laughs> he eats everything. I just want to play. Marlene, it's so exciting to see how God has changed your life. How He woke you up spiritually and made you recognize your great need of Him, and how He took something as simple as the health message and really put it in your heart to change. And then more particularly, how He has given you the zeal to go out and show that. There's nothing like someone who's gone through the experience themselves of these dramatic changes mm -hmm. to be able to share with others. So we're so thankful that you're here today. And we've got another song. We've got Daryl Marshall standing back. We're going to go to Daryl. And in just a moment, we'll be back, be back for a closing word. But right now, Daryl's going to sing Just a Closer Walk with Thee. 